Which means you have to work on your perspicacity. Perspicacity. I always figure, why, but to get more to the point, why would you use a long word when a diminutive one would work? That's comedy right there. I, I, comedy I, gold. I, I, can, I concur. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. Let's do a quick trig review. Um, you probably all know the reminder, the pneumatic, not pneumatic, pneumatic, mnemonic, mnemonic of Sokotoa. Let's review what it means. It means that sine, right, is opposite over hypotenuse, and we'll define what each of those mean. We use, usually use the Greek letter theta, lowercase theta, um, for this. Sometimes you will, if we have multiple letters, are next to it, so we'd have theta, which we kind of write like that, or we'd have phi, which would be the next one. And in physics, it is phi. It is not phi. <laughs> um, we have cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, just notice like that. And tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now let's talk about what each of those means in relation to each other. They are all related to a right triangle, which I could probably draw. I don't really want it 45, 45, 90. There we go. So let's flip this bad boy. Okay, so here's how we're used to looking at it. We put an angle theta there and then define the sides based on that angle. So we have the opposite side. Adjacent means next to, so that's down here. And then we have the hypotenuse. I don't know if it's E or U, but it's something like that. And we would just define it like so. Now we might even rotate this triangle in any different way. Now let's just, so if we had a triangle like so, and we knew this angle, well that makes this the opposite side and this the adjacent side, and hypotenuse is easy. Or here, if we know this angle, it's opposite that, hypotenuse is the easy one, and adjacent is always right next to it. So it doesn't really matter how this is organized, we always reference it off of the angle. The other important thing to know is how do we work backwards? So if we have a triangle where we know three sides, how do we figure out what one angle is? Let's do theta and let's do phi. Let's do, let's do this instead. We use the inverse of the function. So we know we've got, if we're looking at theta, we've got the side that's opposite theta and the side that's adjacent to theta, so that means tangent. So we know that the tangent of theta is equal to opposite, 3.00, over adjacent, 4.00. And we wanna find theta, we have to take the inverse of this function. And if you look on your calculators, the tangent button, if you hit the second function in tangent, you'll get to this, the inverse function of three over four. Also make sure, and we only got a minute left, also make sure your calculator's on degrees here. Um, which if you hit mode, you can just go down and select degree. It's the third line down, hit enter, and then you can quit out of that. Math, you'll have to remember to switch back. I found that out the hard way yesterday. So we take the inverse tangent of 3 over 4, we get 36.9 degrees.
Um, I want three sig figs because I have three here and three there. <coughs> so I, oh right, from A to seven to I round up. Yep. Um, if I wanted phi, well phi has the adjacent and opposite sides too, except they're reverse. So we take the inverse and a four over two. And more questions, just come in and see me or see a friend who's good at it. <laughs>